Okay, this week I want to talk about tire pressure and our tire pressure monitoring system or the TPMS. And everyone should have a sticker right here in the door jam or the driver's door that tells you Nissan recommends for our normal 15 inch tires 33 psi or pounds per square inch to run in these. Okay, that that 33 psi, let's just say this Versa weighs with two passengers, full tank of gas at that, it's going to weigh about 3,000 pounds. That means every tire that's at 33 psi is going to be carrying about 750 pounds of load. Now on the side of the tire, it does say maximum of 44 psi with an 1130 pound load. What that means is if you were to add in another, say, roughly about 1400 pounds of weight in the back of this Versa, and it will fit, believe me. Once you can do that, you want to run and raise your tire pressure from 33 psi up to 44 psi in each tire. You can normally run the pressure above 33 psi if, even if you're not carrying a lot of weight. But just remember, as you add pressure in, these tires are going to be a little bit harder, the ride will be a little less comfortable, and it's going to handle a little bit different because your tires aren't going to comply with the road as much as it was at 33 psi. Now, some of the other things that affect TPMS are altitude and your tire pressure and the temperature. So let's go through each one of those things and how they affect it and how that's going to affect you when you take your tire pressure and your tire pressure monitoring system. On the front left, actually the valve stem here is, is the tire pressure monitoring system sensor and all four tires feed in through the antenna into the dash and this is what tells you your sensors off. Now pressure is going to be affected by temperature. As the temperature decreases, the pressure is also going to decrease. And roughly every 10 degrees it changes going to affect between 6 tenths and 1 psi in each tire. So if you're now at 80 degrees and you're reading at 36 psi, tomorrow if it were to go down to zero, you'd be roughly reading about 30 psi or less. Now that can also affect it if you're running 33 psi, same change may take it down to 27. The TPMS sensor is going to alert you through the light on the dash that it's below 28 to 27 psi. That's the threshold. Anything below that that it reads is going to turn the light on. And just remember, you may lose up to 1 to 2 PSI per month as you go through and drive these tires. So every month I'd recommend ch uh, checking your tire pressure. That way you can keep it above 33 PSI. Now let's move on to what altitude does to the tire pressure. Okay, now altitude is also going to play effect in the way that things read. Your tire pressure gauge is actually going to read what's inside the tire, but it may tell you something a little bit different than what the TPMS sensor does. For every 2200 feet of altitude, it's going to increase your gauge, what it shows you, by 1 psi. So I'm roughly at sea level, and if I measure this at 33 psi, and then I drive this car to it's up roughly 10,000 feet, my gauge is actually going to read up to 38 psi. So that may affect you when you change time. Your TPMS could read low, where you read 33 at a high altitude, your TPMS may think it's at 28 or less just because of that altitude. So keep that in mind. You may want to run a little bit higher on your gauge at higher altitudes. That will keep your TPMS from going off. Now there's three settings in here, or three notifications about your system. When you turn your key on, your light should go on for about one second and then turn off. This is normal. If your light goes on and stays on, that means one of your tires is low or one of the three things have affected you, just as I described. If your light turns on and blinks approximately once per second for about 60 seconds, it means there's a malfunction between your antenna and your tire. Either something's wrong with the sensor or it's not reading it properly. It could be something as simple as just you need to adjust it, take it back to your dealer, tell them what's going on, and they'll be able to fix it for you no problem. If you have any more questions about TPMS, Look it up on the internet. There's a technical bulletin out for Nissan and Infiniti. The Nissan is NTB, NTB 033A. And that was put out in 08, also out in 09. There's one for Infiniti also. That will give you all the graphs of all the information I just told you. If you have any more questions, come visit us at nissanversa.org and nicoclaw.com. Until next week, see you on the forums.